This video book recommendation by Robert Thurman was originally recorded May 2018 in Woodstock, New York. For additional book recommendations by Bob Thurman, please be sure to subscribe to his free weekly podcast available at bobthurman.com. Hi, this is Bob Thurman, and I'm here with a wonderful book by a dear friend, Tsutum Alioni, who's the reincarnation of um, Machik Labdran Rinpoche, one of the great Tibetan women reincarnations and women thing, who very kindly for us was reborn as an American <laughs> in this life. But, but lately, but maybe 10 years ago or something, I don't know, 15 years ago, was recognized by the the um, heirs of Machik Labdran in Tibet, who, may, who after the communist and cultural revolution and communist invasion, destruction of everything there, rebuilt things and somehow came back from their prison camps or wherever they were, and to maintain the tradition of Machik Labdran. Uh, and she has written a wonderful recent book called Wisdom Rising, A Journey, Journey into the Mandala of Empowered Feminine which is really apropos nowadays, which we really need. We need these great women teachers, uh, of which she is one, not only as the reincarnation of a great soul from Tibet, but also just herself having been all through all kinds of things in her long quest. She was a Buddhist nun for a while, and she studied with some of the, a lot of the great masters of Tibetan Buddhism, the older generations and so forth. And now she has a wonderful center in Southwest Colorado, called the Tara Mandala, associating with the wonderful Buddhist deity Tara, who is really the same, like, uh, has the same role as the Virgin Mary does in the Catholic countries or the Orthodox countries. You know, the mother of God, you know, the, the great uh, female Shekhinah, you know, the Holy Ghost as a female, you know, the mother of the, mother of the divine. And uh, she has that same role as the compassionate, miraculous, wonder-working Mother Tara, who has infinite forms that go out with all and help all beings, and especially even the bad guys, the male chauvinists, who in spite of themselves get all this help and wouldn't survive for a minute without their mothers and their partners and their, and their female wisdoms. They wouldn't even survive, you know. So they, but, but only lately, and only now, are we coming on a worldwide way, way as we can, as we realize the, as we realize as a human species, the inevitability of diminishing violence and war, and therefore putting the male into a better balance with the female and letting the females emerge into what Rihanna Eisler brilliantly calls the partnership society, uh, where we really in balance and the females will help uh, in their form of leadership, of their sense of greater interconnectedness, they will help us not get into that kind of really violent sense of separateness that leads to violence and war. So wisdom rising means the female rising, and Sutra Malioni is really presents it beautifully along with her own life, but also with methods and techniques. And Machik Lebdon especially originated a special technique in Tibet that fit with Buddhist tantras, but was even taken back and into, translated into Indian languages, languages, even in that late era for Indian Buddhism, and sparked various kinds of traditions in Indian bhakti and Indian Shaivite and, and Shakti, um, the female version of Shaivite, Shakti um, feminist uh, tantra, uh, where, uh, where the female really emerged in her own power. And the, the jir ritual, which is called severance ritual, is this wonderful thing where this yoga, where imaginatively and sort of viscerally and magically, ultimately, when they become truly adept, the female kind of rehearses her own ability to give of herself to the most dissatisfied beings in the universe, you know, ghouls and cemetery haunters and demons and goblins and weird things. And they're summoned by the true practitioner, the severance practitioner, and then one offers one own substance and flesh and blood and bone and brain and everything, marrow, to them as a feed, but in a, and, and taking oneself apart through wisdom to then give, give oneself away 
as compassion and bliss, a sort of symbolic but very visceral and profound and deep uh, yoga, like a shamanistic yoga, actually, but, but empowered by the special wisdom and universalized, not just tribal within a particular setting, and universalized for the entire human species, which was that which the Machik Labdun uh, incarnation in Tibet in the in the eleventh twelfth century she she managed you know mostly yeah uh, eleven twelve and um, and so Sutra Malioni still keeps that alive and even is recognized as the reincarnation of that great teacher and therefore you can meet her through this wonderful book Wisdom Rising and you can go with her on this journey into the mandala, which means like a mind-protecting magical environment where you are safe and protected by magical beauty, and then into the mandala of empowered feminine. So this means women coming, but when it's empowered, don't get the wrong idea. It doesn't mean that women just join the male in dominating others in, the, and in an aggressive and pushy way like the male, but their power comes through connecting with others and through their immense generosity and their immense delicacy and great beauty. And, and without violence, you know, dominates the negativity in the others and makes them want to join being positive and interconnected and loving and so forth. So it's a loving empowerment and not a violent and, and angry empowerment, although it can be fierce. Loving empowerment can be fierce in helping beings deal with addictions and helping them get over their self-indulgences and, and self-frustrations, actually. So I strongly recommend this wonderful book, Wisdom Rising by Sutra Malioni, and, um, and I recommend that you go on this journey with her and even visit her Tara Mandala whenever you want to in any weather, any time of year, in the beautiful continental divide, mountainous area where it exists in the center of our nation and on the backbone of our nation. Okay, all the best. This Earth Day broadcast was brought to you in part through the generous support of the Tibet House U.S. membership community and the listeners of the Bob Thurman podcast. To learn more about upcoming trips with Robert Thurman and friends with geographic expeditions, please visit BobThurman.com. Happy Earth Day.